a, a little tutorial on the uh, Focusrite USB uh, interface Scarlett um, 2i2. I thought I'd do this tutorial because there wasn't a lot on actual people playing through audio interfaces and uh, how it connects to Cubase and uh, how you connect it all up and uh, so you can start editing your uh, your little tunes um, it cost me 130 quid from Dolphin Music um, there are other ones, there's a Sapphire a bit more expensive I think they're all this much of a muchness really um, I did. I bought this because I really just wanted something quite cheapish so I'd write some songs on the fly so this I can go straight into Cubase with it plug my guitar in, keyboard, vocals uh, all that hullabaloo and um, you can get on with it it's got two inputs, two channels uh, the multi jack inputs so you can um, Show you that uh, multi jack input so you can plug your jack plug of your guitar in, and also um, fun, it has phantom power for microphones. You press this button here, it also has direct monitoring so it tells you if it's clipping, it'll ignite red if it's too much, and green if it's in the in the uh, safety zone, and uh, you won't get any horrible crunchy clipping. Um, time delay and things like that um, it's pretty good it, it, uh, it plays what you play and you hear it as you hear it uh, it's got direct monitoring so uh, it's pretty good um, now you can plug this into a, a speaker or your hi-fi um, I monitor it through uh, headphones so uh, I've got that plugged in and it connects via the USB of course, so there it is, and just goes into the back of the unit. I use the Editing Package Cubebase SX3. So if I go to my computer, um, let's bring that up, and there is Cubebase XS3 blank template. Um, so I'll just show you something I was I just tested it, I was just messing about, and I thought I'd do a little cover version of uh, the song by the Pixies, Where Is My Mind, because I've been hearing it everywhere and I learned how to play it, well, learned how to play a bit of it and um, just get that up and that's how it looks. So um, what I did was plug my guitar vocals bass through this, I used a 10 per track which I made in Fruity Loops, so I imported that in and then uh, I was set to go. So what I did was I went to devices. Just to show you what I did. So on the VST audio bit in a device setup, uh, it's got a drop down menu at the minute. It's on ESO multimedia driver. And that's usually automatically on that. So you want to pull that down and choose Focusrite USB 2.0 audio driver or whatever other um, audio interface you might have it will automatically come up there choose that um, it's got a box there release ESCO driver and background don't bother ticking that just leave that blank unticked and you're ready to go then you OK that and then you uh, must connect the devices, so uh, go to devices on the menu again and uh, VST connections. Uh, and go to the inputs tab and they'll automatically appear, and that's the way they look for me, automatically appear but apparently what you need to do is just right click and uh, remove bus. And that will remove them from the uh, tab. And then all you need to do is press add bus and it'll automatically put them back in for you again. And do the same for outputs. 
and then you want to set up your uh, track so you just right click um, on the palette there and add audio track and I added them as in mono okay you can mix them all together in stereo later so I built up these tracks they were originally called audio one two three four five as you go down I've renamed them to the actual instrument bass guitar lead vocal back and vocal etc and then I simply went over to the first track and um, just click once on it and you'll get this menu up and it'll say in and you just uh, left click on it and choose audio driver I choose left and out focus right stereo out and I did that for all the tracks because you're only, I'm only playing one thing at a time and just putting um, putting them down. If you've got a fancy pants uh, audio interface where it's got multiple tracks and you'd stick them all down in one go, I'd just layer in one, one after the other. Um, then I went to sends. I don't know even if this is necessary, but I did it anyway. Um, left clicked and chose left and switched the thing on and sends yeah and then that was it then it was ready to go um, so I laid the bass guitar down first and I wanted effects on it so I wanted to use the cube bass effects so I wanted inserts and chose some effects to use reverb and something called Q and uh, I wanted to hear them as I, you know, I wanted to hear the effects on the fly as I was doing it. So to do that you need to press this little button on the track called monitoring. And that will monitor it so you'll hear it through your speaker or your headphones. And that's all I did. And then uh, laid the track down after about 12 million attempts of playing the bass finally got it down and uh, I'll just solo that I want to hear my horrible vocal and that's how the bass sounds <laughs> with everything on it And that, uh, that was it. So that's how I set up Cubase 3 to edit my guitar and vocal and bass that I uh, played through the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. And uh, yeah, I think I'll make writing songs a bit easier. Sounds, you know, sounds it's not as good as my task cam, but it's, it's good for just getting stuff down. I'm a complete lazy bastard, so... Um, it helps me when I want to be creative. So I, th I hope you found this video intuitive and um, thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now. Bye.